What's up guys, I'm McKenzie and welcome back to the Arsenal crew, man. Welcome to season two of the Arsenal crew, man. If you enjoyed the video today, be sure to like button, subscribe, and comment the video just down below. If you have not seen season one, go check it out. It was insane. The last episode was insane. And uh, yeah, we're getting into season two now. So pretty exciting. If you don't want spoilers, click away now. But we did do the treble. We won the league. We won the league cup. And we won the Champions League with some emphatic style. So uh, yeah, our season is going to start off well. We are currently doing fuck all. Let's look at our team. This is our team currently. Hopefully we'll make two or three really good signings. We'll probably take Coughlin out. This is our team currently. If we can make a few more signings, that'd be amazing. Our lowest rated player is 85 overall. Not too bad. Looking at our bench, our lowest rated player is 81. Holy shit, this team is insane. We just need one more, maybe one or two more really good players that we'll hopefully sign in this window. But there really is nothing to talk about at the moment. We're going to get to the first game of the season. We look at it, our objectives are to win the title, win, win the FA Cup, make money from sales, get more sales and stuff, win the Champions League, and increase our club work. They're all pretty simple shit, so let's just advance and get on to making signings and preseason. We're going to simulate all of the preseason games because, again, I don't need to play them, so why not? I'm just doing it for the money. It's all about the money. Now, I am going to sell pretty much everyone because this is the last season of the career mode. I don't need any young players. I know some of these might turn out to be really good in real life, but we're just going to sell them all because there's no point of keeping them. I'm not going to use any of them. All they're going to do is go out and loan or just sit there. So what's the point? We're going to keep players like Chambers and Awobi just as backup because I know they are explosive players, but the rest of them are kind of shit. Okay, so big news is out. We're trying to sign three of the biggest players in the world. Ronaldo, Messi, and poor Pogba. Unfortunately, we can't sign any of them because we don't have the money. Okay, we're going to offer. Okay, they want 130 million. That's 60 million more. That's 30 million more than what we have. We'll say 90 million and we'll give them a player. Uh, let's see. Try Perry. Lucas Perez plus 90 million. We're still looking to sell a lot of players. So if we can sell a lot of players, it would be a lot easier. Messi, I don't think it's going to happen. Pogba, it looks like it's not going to happen at all. 100 million plus Al Nenny, and they still said no. I really don't know who to sign. I want to sign one of the world's best players, but it's really hard because I don't know who they are um, that we're going to fit it. I just need pretty much a winger who can play up front or in cam, and then I just need a center mid, really. Either one of them. Villarreal have coming for Walcott. Now, we do have Joel Campbell back from out on loan, so I really like Campbell. I might let Walcott go, but not for cheap. So 37 million. That would really help us sign Ronaldo, Messi, or Pogba. Offers in for Ramsey. Stoke City. Yeah, they think they're now big because they're in the Champions League. No one's going to sign Ramsey. I see him as an important player in my team. Even though we've now got Jack Wilshere back from out loan. Um, Chelsea have come in for uh, Lucas Perez. If they gave us 20 million over what he's worth, then hell yeah, he would go. Because hopefully if we get another great player in like Ronaldo, Messi, then I can put one of them up front when I need to. And then we've also got players like Walcott, Campbell, and so forth. A Wobi even. We want to win this this preseason and get extra money, so we're going to simulate with our best possible team and 4 0 win, easy as you like. Hopefully, we don't pick up an injury. Last season, we did. Lucas Perez was out for the entire first half of the season. They never really got into it after that. United still want more for Port Bogba than that, and I can't offer them more than that at the moment. Hopefully, after preseason and after we sell a few players, it's going to be easier. A Villarreal, Al 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 okay, they've rejected as well Madrid, so we're going to put in another offer, 100 million. We'll take Perez out because he's currently subject of transfer matter and we'll shove Chesney in there. Yeah, that worked. Villarreal offering 30 million for Walcott. I'm going to stand strong on my 37 million for him. Chelsea have said no to Perez. Juventus want Mustafi, but he's 87 overall. We're not going to get anyone better than him, so he's going nowhere. Fuck! Mustafi's injured. Not good. Hopefully it's not a long injury. Let's see how long he's injured for. 12 days. Okay, that's, that's nothing really. Oh! Yes! Yes! Ronaldo offer accepted for, for um, 100 million plus voice check Chesney. We do not have the money to afford him. But hopefully we're going to make some sales. I don't know. That's a really strange figure from Borussia Mönchengladbach. A straight figure of 30 million, 41,774. Very strange. Give us seven more million and you can have it. So we're offering Ronaldo 600,000. Crucial first team bonus goal, even though it means absolutely nothing. Let's see if we can sign Ronaldo. Of course, I would prefer Messi, majorly prefer Messi over Ronaldo, even though I'm better playing with Ronaldo. I don't know why. And Pogba wouldn't be bad either because then we'd have a world-class mi um, center midfielder there as well. But really, I'd prefer Ren um, Pogba is my third choice, really. And we win our final game. Bellerin got a red card. What was with these injuries and red cards? But with one, which means we'll get a few extra million, which will help us signing Ronaldo. Three million, that's all right. And now Dort um, Dortmund, Wolfsburg have offered 
35 and a half million. I'm saying 37 million. I'm standing strong on that. I really want the money for him. Walcott again plays shit with him all last season, but he can play left, right, striker, so he's important, I guess. Offer for Aubameyang, of course, there's no chance of our record goal scorer ever going anywhere. Um, Stoke now want him as well, so just please give me the money. Yes! 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 Fuck yes! Thank you! No, I'm not celebrating Walcott. Uh, no, if you haven't seen it, you, you probably should have used your eyes a little bit more. But we're signed Ronaldo! He's going to sign! We're just 2 million short. Okay, I'll, I'll see if I can adjust my wage. I've got 89,000 wage to work with. Let's see. Let's see if we can do this. Yes. Yes! 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 We can sign Cristiano Ronaldo! Fuck! Yes, look at that. Boom. 30,000 wage. Less than a million transfer budget remaining. I'm putting all of my money into the one player. And that is Cristiano Ronaldo. It solves our problem with the wings. Sanchez was sort of shit. But saying that, he was amazing. But now we've got real depth in our wings. We just really need a center mid. We're not going to be able to afford a center mid. I know that. But I've gonna, I'm going to take that risk. Because we're going to sign Ronaldo. Who is incredible. And there we go. That might be our last signing of the, sea, of the entire career mode. We'll have to see. But what? A fucking sign. Signing. Now I will happily let Walcott go. So anyone, sign Walcott. He's for sale. Get him. Come to fucking save him. Into the um, champ challenge, American Challenge Cup semi-final. Win this, we get more money. 4-0, easy to like. And um, Ronaldo didn't come on. Ronaldo's number 40. I can't take number 7 off Sanchez, that's for sure. I want to give Ronaldo a better number than 40. Fuck. <laughs> oh, Stoke have accepted 37 and a half million. That's great. We've got an extra 4 million. So if Walcott goes, we can actually look at signing a center mid. Um, maybe. Maybe look at center mid. Maybe look at an actual decent backup striker. Okay, here we go. Friendly's final. Got to win this 3-0. Jack is now fucking injured. Holy shit. Royce has got his second hat trick in a row. But now Jack is injured. This is causing some piss in me off. Off, actually extra money awesome great two months are you fucking serious holy shit 35 million off um just because ronaldo made his debut he got 35 million in shirt sales he's now a highest selling player used to be a bummy a bummy is even on there Ozil, all bummy and royce and then all of a sudden ronaldo signs and it's ronaldo Ozil, and royce where's a bummy and gone why is he dropped so low okay oh actually has he sold? Walcott sold to Stoke! Awesome! There we go, we've got about 40 mil- Well, we've got about 50 million in now. Only in the year we set out to complete long goal of Chris and Club's worth. Thank you for playing part. Um, we've achieved this goal. Oh, great, we've already put up our- We've already improved it. Well done. Now, we'll offer for Lucas Perez. We want more than that. And now, Paul Hayes is a youth player we had last season. Grew him by 10 overall for an objective. Then the EA glitched and fucked up for me. But we are actually gonna sell him because we're never gonna use him again now. Schneider is a better youth player anyway. Might as well get an extra million in our little kitty so we'll sell him oh wow Bellerin's now hit 99 acceleration and 99 sprint speed this guy's the fastest possible player in the game you can't get any faster than him Ronaldo's already getting shitter but he's going to be an insane player for this one season that he's in for but now I've just looked at this calendar right we're gonna we're gonna finish just in a second this episode but look at this three games in a week to start the season off we have the charity shield or the community shield and then the, the um, super cup or whatever I'm gonna have to put out a reserve team at Wembley because this, it'd be better if this game was on a Saturday. And then I've got to put out my full strength team then. And then try and scrundle up another team for that game. And let's look at the schedule. Let's just scroll through here. we got United. we got Tottenham. City, okay, in September. When, when do we have... Okay, sweet. And we're going to be picking up our league title. Let's see, against Southampton. Hopefully, it's a home match. Yeah, our last home match of the season is the last game of the season again against Southampton. Could you imagine if we were, like, two points behind Chelsea at the last two games of the season? We played Chelsea and beat them and win the league after that. That'd be great. But, um, anyway. Let's continue. We're about to end the first episode of Season 2 because we don't have time to... Oh, my God! No way! City have accepted 16 million for Cliche Ayanacho. What the fuck? I swear he's worth so much more than that. Maybe I could have got him for cheaper. We don't know. Fuck. Okay, I finally got a scouting report on Inacho. He's worth 13 and a half. Okay, so I haven't really overpaid for him. He's got great acceleration and great finishing. What is he? 77. That's that's good enough. That's better than Perez, really. I'm going to prefer this guy to Perez. I've used him in three FIFAs now. He's insane. Um, let's see if there's anyone here. I would take Dalfe, but I don't need another midfielder. Barkley, don't really 
need him. We need a center mid now. Let's see if we can find a center mid. Okay, another offer for Lucas Perez. We'll, we'll now let him go because we're going to get Ian Nacho for less money. And he, I can train Ian Nacho. So within next year, he's going to be like 83 overall and shit. But that is where we are going to end episode one of season two of the Arsenal crew. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like button, subscribe, and comment video sessions down below. What an explosive start to the season. We made some great signings, as in we've made one sign. About two. We've almost made two. We've signed Cristiano Ronaldo and we've almost signed Clichy, Ian Nacho. So our season is looking very, very, very good. Our team is very strong. Even stronger than the last time. We've sold a few players. But that's good because our team's getting even better. I hope you have enjoyed. Come back soon for episode two. Until next time, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.